Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about refocusing on your vision. As you embark on the journey to improve your life and manifest and materialize the vision that you see in your mind, that you feel in your heart, living the life that you want, transformation is a part of the process. You are supposed to change. As you move forward, each step you take forward, you're gonna feel different. Your environment is gonna change different. You're gonna start thinking differently, acting differently, behaving differently. All of these things are part of your transformation. This video is to remind you that as you begin to transform and change, that you may need to refocus on your vision and check in to make sure what you initially set out to create is still what you want in your heart. What I mean by this is if you take two steps forward and things are changing around you, now you're different. Okay, great. You refocus and say, is this still what I want now that I'm different? Okay, great. So you take two more steps forward. Fantastic. You've changed a lot again. Your thinking, your behaviors, your relationships, the way you talk to yourself, what you eat, maybe even the way you look physically, it's all changing again. So now you're four steps into the journey and what you may realize, or you may not realize, and that's what this video is here for, is that now what you initially thought you wanted is actually no longer what you wanted. Why? Because you've changed. So as you ascend and evolve into a better version of you, that new evolved better version of you may not even want that goal, that thing, that life that you initially set out to create. So it's important that you take time to ground yourself and refocus on what it is you want. Is this still what you want? Do you still want to own your own business? Or have you decided that, you know what, I actually would rather and do enjoy more working for someone else? Okay, I've gone on dates and I've met someone great, but you know what, I feel so differently now that I realize that the person that I've been seeing that I thought I wanted was what the old version of me wanted, and I actually want a whole different type of partner in my life. I've realized some different values. So different things like this, you know, I thought I wanted to get really jacked and have a six pack, but I realized that it's actually more about flexibility and living an energetic lifestyle for me so that this type of exercise is no longer in alignment with me. So as you begin to change, as you transform, it's important that you check in with yourself and understand that your preferences, what you want might actually look different. The important thing to know this comes from Neville Goddard, a teaching from him is one of his books, Feeling is the Secret. What you envision initially that you want may change, but what you're really after is not what it looks like externally. What you're looking for is the feeling, the feeling of satisfaction, the feeling of having love and passion and romance in your life and being respected and love in return. This is what you need to focus on. You focus on the end feeling and you let everything materialize and come into light as it should. In other words, you can't be attached to how the journey looks. You can't be attached to how the journey looks because you don't know what it's gonna look like. It's brand new. If you think you want this thing and you're doing everything that's familiar from you, are you going to get something different or are you going to create the same thing that you've always created? You're gonna get the same thing you've always created. Why? Because you're doing the same things. You're still thinking the same way. You're approaching it. Your ego is trying to control the process. But again, this is a reminder that the process is actually what's forming you, what's shaping you into who you want to be. The process is what is creating a new version of you and that process is going to be something unfamiliar. It's going to be something uncomfortable. It's going to bring in new opportunities and different experiences and people that you wouldn't normally talk to. You're going to start thinking differently. Why? Again, because you're transforming. What you want, that feeling, by achieving that end goal is going to be something entirely different than you could have ever imagined. And this is when you know that you are on the right path. This is when you know that you are creating 
that life that you desire, it's important that you detach from how the process looks. As long as you have and continue to refocus on the vision at the end, what does it look like? What does it feel like in your heart? You've got to release trying to control how it looks step by step as you transform and become this version of you. If you try to control and think through every detail on how it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to be, well, once again, you're just creating from what you've already known. Since you're creating from what you've already known, you're gonna just get what you've always got because you're just doing what's familiar. You've also got to understand that by trying to control everything, you're shutting off the magic of the universe. So you may be trying to take a shower through a freaking curly straw when the universe is ready to dump blessings, like dump trucks full of water on top of you in the form of blessings. But by you trying to control it, again, it's you trying to take a shower through a curly straw and you're trying to chokehold it. You've got to release the attachment and let the magic of the universe come in. You'll know the magic of the universe is coming in because it's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be unexpected. It's gonna be unfamiliar. That's how you know you're on the right track. Once again, because if you're getting what you've always known and it's comfortable and it's predictable, it's the same thing that you've always got. It's, it's the same thing, it's something familiar. Your job is to detach and learn to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. Part of this journey is learning to open your heart and trust what your heart is telling you, coupled with or partnered with the power of your mind. So you listen, listen to the wisdom of your heart. What direction is your heart calling you and what is it you want? Tap in deeply to what your heart wants. But then your job is to bridge the gap, heart-brain coherence, as Dr. Joe Dispenza says, and allow the power of your brain to construct along with what your heart wants and materialize your manifestation. In other words, okay, my heart's telling me to go this direction. So follow that direction with your heart, but use your mind on how to best approach that. So you don't ever, of course, want to be reckless and impractical. There needs to be a time of germinating the seeds that you're planting, of fostering and nurturing those seeds, and a time of sprouting until it fully realizes into a full realized manifestation in your reality. It's step by step. And there's a process to this. The analogy I'll use, of course, is just like a gardener or a farmer. You plant the seed, you water it, you continually refocus on it. What's the goal? My goal is to have 100 corn plants for this harvest. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to make sure I'm taking care of the plants so they get enough water and sunlight and I need to make sure that I'm tending to my garden so all these bugs and all this crap that wants to break it down is not breaking it down. Okay, what's the end vision? Why am I doing this stuff? That day, say it takes 100 days, on day 65 you're exhausted, you haven't seen a whole lot of growth. Are you refocusing on your vision? Are you saying, well, what's the goal here? Man, it's gonna feel really good when I have 100 really uh, harv or bountiful harvest of corn plants here. So that's just the analogy I'll use, but yeah, I think you get what I'm saying. Okay, great. So I'm tired, I'm exhausted, it's day 65, it's gonna take 100 days, I don't wanna do this anymore, is this still what I want? Yeah, that time when you're really tired and you don't wanna go out and water the plants and take all the insects off the plants, that is you transforming into a better version of yourself all to what end? So that at the end of the 100 days, you have this beautiful, amazing plant harvest of a full 100 corn plants. So to parallel it to your life, if you're trying to get in shape right before your big transformation when your clothes no, no longer fit and you step out of the shower and see yourself in the mirror and go, oh my God, who's that? You're sick of eating super healthy food. You're sick of drinking all this water. You're sick of not going out as much on the weekends yeah, you're transforming, you're becoming a new version of you. That ripped version of you, that toned up sexy version of you that can wear whatever she wants and 
have a crop top or show off her arms and shoulders. Yeah, she doesn't go out as much. She eats differently. She sleeps differently. He lifts weights consistently. You don't want to go after work and go and pump iron. You're exhausted. Then you have to go home. You have to go to your kids and wife and handle your responsibilities. That is the transformation. So it's important to refocus on your vision, understand that your preferences might change, detach from how it looks and just live at the end feeling and understand and embrace the difficult times knowing that that is literally you being shaped into the person that you desire. By you becoming that person that you desire, you will have your manifestations, the 100 beautiful harvest, bountiful harvest of corn plants. So stay strong and refocus on your vision. If you're in the period of fatigue where you're exhausted and you don't want to do it anymore, that's where you need to double down, buckle down and go. This means you're in the crux of transformation. You're in the crucible being formed into a better, stronger version of you. Double down on it. Detach from the how, pro how the process looks and allow yourself to be uncomfortable. And the quotes I'll leave you with today, both from Neville Goddard, Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and continue feeling that it is fulfilled until that which you feel objectifies itself. So focus on the end goal, the feeling, allow the process to be uncomfortable until it happens because it will. And the harder it gets, the more difficult it gets. This is the process of transformation. This is you being forged into that version of yourself who can handle all that money, who knows they're deserving of that loving partner, who lives the life of adventure and is courageous and powerful, who's authentic and kind, who's wealthy, who's loving, X, Y, Z, fill in the blank. The other quote I'll leave you with today, there can be no other change until there is first an inner change. As within, so without. This process of transformation starts with your mind, your heart, your body. It starts internally with belief systems that you can do this. As you begin to transform from the inside, everything else on the outside will begin to reflect your inner transformation. So if you're not seeing progress and you've been doing the work, double down on it. Okay, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition. That's what I got for you today, guys. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.